Hello folks, Sam Owens here, and uh, I have a product here from Vivor that uh, I'm going to show the uh, features, explain them, and show the connections, and actually uh, demonstrate uh, the wind turbine char generator uh, in operation. Okay, let's look at what we get. We get five blades. This is a five blade model. Uh, there, are, there is a three blade model. You get hardware to mount the blades uh, and the connecting sleeve, a splicing sleeve they call it, uh, to the uh, wind turbine. Uh, you get a tool to use on the bolts. You get a controller here. This is the wind controller. It controls the voltage uh, to charge your batteries. This actually uh, is used in conjunction with uh, 12 or 24 volt batteries. Uh, it will charge the batteries and then you can have a inverter that will uh, change the DC voltage to AC voltage to run fans and chargers for your cell phones, computers. So uh, this is a, a great charging device, a wind turbine generator. Uh, you also get a nose cone, which is going to go and uh, cover the assembly of the blades, and uh, that's nice. You get, like we say, the connecting sleeve, which is going to connect the wind uh, turbine uh, to your mounting pole or device. Uh, you get the wind turbine generator itself, and here is the part that the blades are going to connect to. And you get your user manual. View through the uh, user manual to get familiar with just what you need to do in order to connect this up and uh, put it into operation. The holes do not match up with the wind turbine, so I'm only going to be able to use the top hole and the bottom hole of this. Uh, so uh, that will work for the demonstration, uh, but it should actually, these holes should line up with those two. But for some reason, this splicing sleeve did not have the holes in the proper location. So I'm going to install these two together and then this will connect to my main pole. Okay, now with that done, uh, we need to uh, uh, con make some connections. Right here, they give you some small pigtails right here. Three wires that go to the wind turbine generator. This is a three phase motor, so it doesn't, they do no color, all it is is blue. So any connection to the controller blue leads will work. I have three wires. It's just to demonstrate connect, making the t connection here uh, on each one of them using wire nuts. Uh, these will are the easiest uh, to use and operate and uh, purchase. So we take a piece of wire and uh, you'll have to make measurements and also this is not the proper wire size it's wire i have to do the demonstration you would try to pick the wire that's this size to connect to your controller blue leads and uh, the length that you need and then we just you'll have to once you cut it strip this using a stripper with the proper gauge and you can strip the insulation off and then you twist them up and then you any one of them you take them over here and have uh, when you're doing this wrap the wire so that the ends of the wires are at the end of each like that you don't want the end down here this is not a course in uh, how to really do this this is just a quick show of how you could accomplish a connection. Wrap around to keep these secure and this is kind of a rubberized tape and it'll kind of help hold everything together while you're assembling it and don't pull anything loose. 
Now, you would do all three of them like that. This is our mounting pole, which is mounted to a four by four post with some of these strappings. Uh, this could be an 18 foot pole that's on the side of your house or uh, somewhere in the yard with guy wires. I'm just demonstrating how to connect it to your pole and run the wires, hook up the controller and uh, put it in and assemble the blades I've already, in the uh, pole that I'm going to mount, drilled a hole right here all the way through that I'm going to use the lower hole of the splicing connector on there. It only goes one way. And uh, it will line up with my uh, pole. And now I can put in the uh, wind turbine little pieces of tape here to secure the wire. This may be 18 feet or 20 feet, uh, whatever length of your pole and the distance to your controller. So all of this has to be planned out ahead of time. I'm going to mount this right here. So it's right next. Actually, it's going to go like this right there. I'm going to run through there, connect to these wires. So this is where we have to go right here and I take this end and I'm going to run these down through here so you have to have the sleeve on make sure the sleeve is in position or if you're going to run the wires through your mounting pole and then connect those up. You could have your long pigtail here and uh, have your wind turbine on a table, connect it up and then put it down. This is uh, for whatever your needs may be. Once you get them all three through there, then you can pull all of the wire through. And see, I didn't really need all of this, but uh, for the demonstration, uh, it's kind of demonstrates what you'd be looking at and with, with an installation. Now, hold a, the wind turbine up, get them through, and then try to position the, the two holes here to line up with your holes in the, uh, in the splicing tool or splicing connector. Now, right here I have, let's turn this around, Okay, these did not line up so that both of these would be uh, together. So I'm to, for the demonstration, I'm using this hole and also the, uh, there's a hole in the pipe. So we use one of these bolts with a lock washer and a flat washer. And this is going to se secure the, the splicing connector to the wind turbine. I'm only doing it hand tight, but you would take a wrench uh, right here and tighten that down so it's secure. Now I'm going to spin it around and line up with my hole in the mounting pipe. So I've got this bolt, a lock nut, or a lock washer, and now we put these through. This is one way of doing it. And you put that all the way. Put a little. This does not come with the, uh, the product. This you'll have to provide. One more bolt here. And you have to kind of wiggle it around to get them lined up. Normally there would be four uh, bolts here that hold this together. But th like I say, this uh, is a, just for demonstration here to show this. All right, now this is free to turn around all over as the wind hits it. So now we've got our wire through here and now we're going to uh, hook up the uh, blades. There's five blades and this is the way it goes. You take uh, your Allen tool and a couple of these 
bolts, screws really, and there's one, one correct way, and that is the recessed area. You want the heads to go into that area. So you put two of them in there like that. And see how they're recessed down. The other side is going against the uh, rotor. Now, line them up. Use your tool. And just screw these down. And get the other one started so it doesn't fall out. And once they're in there, <clears throat> just screw the, I'm only going to show, demonstrate one of them. And right there. We'll put this all the way on. And then I will go through and mount all of the other four. I'm going to demonstrate using a screwdriver with an Allen attachment uh, to assemble the last blade. And you get your screwdriver in it, line it up, and you can actually see the hole, line it up with the mounting location and then just gently screw it in place and then the, the other screw that's what it's going to look like and it will spin all around and the wires are not spinning because it's spinning on this mount right here so that's the whole idea of having a, a splice in here okay now we're at the point of making our connections to the controller and it should be mounted this way and uh, it's weatherproof uh, it's all sealed now there are some lights on the bottom and the lights are uh, designated here charging and unloading in other words the charging is when you see this light glowing that means that the generator is putting out charging voltage when this light comes on uh, it indicates that the wind speed is too great or the voltage is too great and it's a braking. It will actually slow the, uh, the wind turbine down and break it down so that it stops. Okay, and then starts back up when the condition is uh, relieved. So, uh, there is, in the box that this comes with, uh, is a little explanation of about the controller and showing the specification and the wiring. This is the simple wiring that we're going to do right now. So let's put this in place and we'll need, I'm going to use two screws, one here and one here, and we're going to mount it right about there. And now move this over and get it down a little bit tighter. Normally, it wouldn't be uh, mounted like this, but it makes for you being able to see everything in one location. You see, I had these little tapes around there. If you have a long run, that might help to uh, keep the wires all together so that you could have a hole somewhere in your mounting pole. Uh, and if you do it close to the bottom, you'll have an easy way to uh, get to that hole and bring these out through the hole cut these off uh, right about there okay and then you'll need these are already uh, stripped out you're going to take your wire nuts like you did before lay them out and then any one of these it doesn't matter is going to the blue one so I'm going to take this first one right here last one and then screw the wire nut Wrap them with tape. volts six volts but we don't have a battery connected 
So when you do, you'll get the charging, and uh, these are the two leads that would go to the battery, red and black, and this would be positive battery terminal and the negative battery terminal. And it'll charge the battery up. Okay, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching my video.